Good morning. Quick update on Tropical Storm Ernesto. Five o'clock advisory. This is where it's located at, right here. 19.5 and 666 movement at 16 miles an hour northwest. The pressure is 99 six millibars sustained winds at 70 miles per hour just two two miles shy of a hurricane but the wind gusts are definitely over 85 miles per hour taking a look here these are their lightning flashes and it seems to be to the north northeast and a lot towards the south which is moving upward slowly looking at the sandwich model here here's a nesta right here and here's that that big storm convention is moving towards Puerto Rico as this thing moves northwest. Also, too, you can see some of it is hitting the Dominican Republic on the, from Samana on eastward. Another image you see down here on the southern part, tail, the, the southern tail, there's a lot of energy right here still coming, moving up. So the whole day is it's gonna be a bad day. Flood warnings, electricity, outages, Power outages already reported. Going on Twitter X, the latest one minute. Fajardo's without power. No flood. So far, no flooding has been reported. Ask citizens not to expose themselves. Okay, this is two minutes ago. Heavy rain felt. Municipalities reporting large amount of water, falling trees, impassable roads. Citizens are told to stay home. So we're starting to get flash flood warnings popping up all over the place. Mostly the eastern part, as the southern feeder band, the tail, still moving in the, this direction. Expect flooding over here in the mountains by San Lorenzo, Caguas, where the Rio San Lorenzo is at. Flooding to occur because this thing is going to be all day today, all vent. I know it's moving away, but uh, you, you, you got the tail. And it's, as it becomes stronger, it becomes a hurricane in the next advisory. with the 8 o'clock advisory, I think it is? It'll be a hurricane or the 11 o'clock and it'll pick, it'll be, get stronger and the southern feeder band will continue pouring rain in the, you can see right here, the red in the middle, right here. That's, that's where my family's from. That's why I lived for a while over here by San Lorenzo. And I know about the river by Caguas. Okay, this was just put out five minutes ago from the National Hurricane Center. They updated it, which I would record it. It was, now they're saying this area right here, uh, they're expecting around close to six to eight inches, maybe 10 in some spots, over 10 inches in some spots. It looks like the mountains are the ones getting the, the hammered with the rainfall. So the rivers will be flooding. There'll be more power outages. Flash flooding's in effect. Dangerous life's threatening situation do not attempt to travel okay this was put out 56 minutes ago here's where the floodings occurring by san juan east basically the whole eastern part of the island is getting hammered oh yeah we got power outages nearly a quarter of the country wakes up without electricity a quarter so that's 25 percent and it'll continue growing as that strong southern band moves northward here's more six minutes ago uh 6 30 or 6 40 right now and these things just keep popping up these flash flood warnings just keep popping up because aquita la fuerte got a lot of lightning in this area right here in the south and here's a nesta right there soon to become a hurricane probably is a hurricane already it's only a couple of miles miles per hour from being classified as a hurricane but the wind gusts got 85 miles per hour reported wind gusts a little bit 29 minutes ago this was 6 a.m and see here you got lightning Imagine that's the east, the, well, the east coast is experiencing that. Well, you can see they still got power over here. Who knows what time they recorded that. Let's see what else we got. Right here. And flash flood warning for Rio Blanco. Yeah, you still got power. Or, yeah, you still got power there. Oh, look at this one. Okay, this was an hour ago. Infrared. Oh, wow. Look at this ugly thing right here. It just, what's that? Peridoria again? 
right there. That don't look good. Remember, it's at 666 to the west. All this is moving northward. Expect more of uh, flash flooding. Let's say from the middle, cut the from the middle east. Space the skies are red and space. Space station. Okay, here's a in Spanish right here. Huracan information. I'll leave the link down below. Here's more information in Spanish. De la pasada noche, una banda muy fuerte asociado con la tormenta. There's a strong band where he got the pointer at moving northward. La tropical Ernesto ha comenzado a moverse sobre la región desde el sureste, aunque el centro de circulación ya se ubica al. Now that the center is right here, but still got this big blob of energy. La mañana de hoy es importante que ustedes permanezcan en un lugar seguro y en sus hogares debido a que las condiciones estarán muy peligrosas. The conditions are dangerous. Uh, stay home. Uh, monitor this. Just hunker down. But all day today, it's going to be all day event. Durante todo el día. The whole day. Okay, there's been flash flooding in that area reported, but two minutes ago, uh, Nesta to become a major hurricane. Here's the big blob in the south moving moving northwest. Okay, so there we have it. Thir 19 minutes ago, close to 7 o'clock, and the flooding, flash flooding just keep on popping up. So that's what I have so far. Should be Durante resto de la mañana. Hasta luego. So there it is. So I'll leave the link down below. There was another site too. I'll leave this light site too up. He'll be up and running. Media Mundo. He covers it real good. And let's take a quick look. So there's where the popping up. Where San Juan, east of San Juan, all the way flash flood warning, high wind gusts. The, watch the rivers, the rivers. Okay, until next time, prayers to Puerto Rico. Okay, prayers sent. Be safe. Until next time, let Father out.